Oh my God, it's so pretty here. This is Battle River. It loops around from Pinoka and then connects to some other rivers as well. This is so peaceful. I smudge in with sage and with sweetgrass and I ask for like prayer and for gratitude and to like pick it myself. This, this is like really cool. That's a big bag, eh? It's like we're gonna take all of the sage here. <laughs> what about the sage like that we know from our culture? It's like our teachings tell us that it's a very healing, right? Yeah, we do it's it for very, prayer. It's very healing. We do it for prayer and we have like for um, like, you know, sacred medicines like in sage is one of them along with cedar, tobacco. And sweet grass. And sweet grass. Yeah. It's really healing, like really purifying, like, you know, for your, like, you know, your spirit and cleansing. And it really brings a lot of good energy, you know. Yeah, I was sitting over there picking sage and I just had to stop for a minute and just like close my eyes like yeah. the wind. It means a lot to me to be like invited to Musquitchies because I guess um, this was like two years ago and I opened the paper yeah. to see that there was like 16 suicides in like yeah. one month or something. Yeah. And it just broke my heart and it was because it's so close to home, mm -hmm. right? Like I'm not hearing about this in another country. I'm hearing it in like a community down the road. Exactly. Like so I'm in Fort Mackay and it's like this is just, you know, outside of Edmonton. Yeah. I just had to write a song yeah. and I wrote this song called Break Free yeah. about like, you know, suicide prevention, just about like making better choices in mm -hmm. life. I hear them calling, I see them falling, let's shine, I'm free, I'm free. And so it just meant a lot for me to come to the community to be able to see like this is so beautiful mm -hmm. you know like why why is it happening it's tough sometimes because there's just so much with you know people that's you know parents who suffer from addictions the children a lot of times grow up and see that and you know it's just what it's you, like a product of the environment exactly their parents or their parents parents were raised raised and way. abused in mm -hmm. those missions and those residential schools and they just tried to like survive after exactly. that so and i think that's the bigger picture that people don't realize it's mm -hmm. like where is it coming from exactly and it's like well it's, it's learned it's behavior. learned behavior yeah. yeah you know then they say it's generationalized yeah. with like alcoholism lateral violence it's like a cycle like a cycle, a cycle yeah that's never breaking unless you know we you know step in and find you know the resources and help to help break that cycle for you know the next generation exactly 